In Coding Game Fall Challenge, you implement AI bot for a two-player game. Your bot will be run against programs made by other participants, so it's basically a game tournament, but for bots. You don't need any experience or machine learning knowledge. You can use one of many languages like C++, Java or Python. If you know how to code, you can participate. We start with some default code, so let's run it and see what it does. On the left, there was a match between two bots made by organizers. Now it's me versus boss1, bot made by organizers, and I lost 0 to 16 points. Not the best result. Let's see that again. You control a witch who brews potions and sells them for some price. We start with 10 resources of different types, and at the bottom there is a list of available recipes for potions. If I spend those resources, I will create a potion and sell it for 17 rupees or points. This would be a quite good move. My opponent just got 6 points, I would get 17 here already, but I do nothing, so it's 0 points. I lost. It won't be difficult to improve this code, we'll do that in a moment. On the left there's statement, all the rules, you should read it, obviously. And at the very bottom there is input-output description. This is what you have in this problem instead of API. If you look at program on the right, in infinite loop it reads from standard input description of what is available, of what happens your inventory, inventory of your opponent, what are available recipes, stuff like that. And then it needs to print the action. In the statement they say, output is a single line with your command, it's either brew something or wait. Brew and ID of a potion. Let's modify this code then. ID, I need to get this ID. We'll create it here. And as I read uh, recipes with some price, uh, action type, it is useful later, not right now. I will ignore all other types, all other things, and I will just say ID is action ID. Every time overwriting it. Let's run again. If I read information about multiple recipes, because I overwrite here, I will always do the last recipe, the last potion. It seems I'm winning 24 to 16, even though my program isn't really too smart. You can do much better than that. Like in many games, there's a league system here. You start from wooden league, then go up bronze, silver, and so on. While play my code button is only for testing purposes and your program is run versus bought by organizers, the yellow test in arena button submits your program, it also saves it on the server, and it's run then against real players. If you run, if you rank high enough in the leaderboard, you get promoted to the next league. And there is no penalty for submitting like that, you can do that multiple times, so don't be afraid of submitting not perfect code. Let's do a sneak peek into second league. Not only you face more difficult opponents, but also the statement gets more complicated. There are new rules, highlighted in green. We get here spells used to create new ingredients, resources, or change them one to another. And input-output gets more complicated, because instead of just brewing, you can also cast a spell to get resources, or rest to make your spells available again. Choosing proper potion to go for becomes more complicated, more complicated because it's not only about price, but also how much time it will take you to get proper resources. Then next leagues are obviously even more complicated. Also, use last battles to see your games versus real players, especially games you lost, or just watch a game between two players from the top of the leaderboard. See what strategies they are using. Yes, it is allowed to see their matches and copy some strategy. Here are my tips. Make everything simple. Small steps. Really, really small steps. You can come up with some complicated strategy of predicting your opponent's movements and then trying to get the same potion before him to leave him with unnecessary resources. But it's better to start simple. Just implement trying to getting the first potion. Don't plan anything, just make random moves. Just anything like that. Run your program, see if it does what you intend it to do. If it doesn't work, then use some debugging. You can use error output, or you can use here something like that. If you play that 
your witch will say it, not out loud, but you will see the message here, and then debug it. Okay? You don't want to write 1000 lines, only to, then to see that nothing works. Yeah, <laughs> we got something printed. And also CRR in C++ to print to error output. Some more complicated strategy might be to realize when the game ends and trying to then start prioritizing those potions that are very easy to make, to make that last potion before your opponent so he, they wouldn't get any points, no? stuff like that. If you want more information, more tips, check out the challenge page. You will find here frequently asked questions, basically how much does it cost to participate? It's free. Who can participate? Everybody. That's really it. And here you can see Twitch schedule. There will be a lot of streamers doing it, not only in English. Check out my streams on Twitch. I'm Erichto, same on YouTube. And there are useful resources with more articles. See you in the leaderboard. Good luck. Bye.